life is supposed to be fun it's supposed to feel good to you it's supposed to feel really really good to you and the being the vibrational being that you are you enter in every moment another segment and another segment and another segment and another segment with all new opportunities but you know what each segment has in common there's a vibrational field that the law of attraction is all about and you walk into each segment with your vibrating beingness with your point of attraction and the law of attraction matches you up Esther and a bunch of friends and family went to Greece last month and for the first time Esther had a baggage tracker in her bag her son bought them for the group that were flying together and Esther tossed them into her two bags and off they went and it was so fun she was fascinated because at nearly every moment she knew where her bag was <laughs> and the reason is because these little things they looked like little buttons these little things were transmitting a signal and cell phones all over the world were picking up on them and feeding it back to a central source that was sending an in the moment information to Esther's phone it was the best 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 thing and when they got there Esther and her daughter and son her son and her son's friend when they got there one of the seven bags didn't make the last flight the airline didn't know it but Esther did <laughs> and it caught up the next day and then on another leg another bag didn't make it but they knew where it was and then Esther got thinking about this she thought oh man I like thinking about this because we are all of us Esther said to no one who cared or was listening we're like these little buttons you know and they looked at her like <laughs> have you eaten today <laughs> transmitted a signal that is being matched up by something so much more sophisticated and efficient than this baggage tracking system the law of attraction is matching the combination of what you've got going on with everybody around you it's matching up your memories boom having a bad moment suddenly you remember every bad moment you've ever had <laughs> this food doesn't taste good mm. suddenly you remember all the food that didn't taste good and where you got it the law of attraction is so precise and so responsive to the vibrational output that you've got going on that there is a way for you to live more happily ever after more of the time more happily now more happily now more happily now more happily now and it isn't controlling what somebody else did with your bag it isn't controlling how somebody else behaves to which you are having a knee-jerk response it's about you deciding that since you're transmitting and what you are transmitting is precisely coming back to you in all kinds of variable combinations of what you call life experience what you call random often and what you call chance often and what you call somebody else is doing often stuff's coming back to you with precision on what you're outputting and when you get that when you understand that then it makes you want to output on purpose so Esther was reaching for some ways she's receiving these blocks of thought from us and ideas are occurring to her of a way to explain it and she began thinking about just walking around with this bag of marbles that she has put there and each marble is like one of those tracking devices that's bringing stuff back to her and she thought about wanting to put a whole lot of lovely things in that bag since it's all coming back to her that person was snarky uh oh <laughs> now one little snarky marble is not a problem but if you are on a snarky search <laughs> have some of you heard us talk about 
when you hold a thought for as little as 17 seconds it's actually slightly less than that now but let's not nitpick <laughs> when you hold a thought for as little as 17 seconds and you don't contradict it that marble in your bag will go get another one just like it and in another 17 seconds another one just like it and as Esther got that image in her mind of this bulging bag of marbles she thought I'm gonna pay attention to what I'm thinking about and then she remembered when she was young and not knowing what mercury was it was in the thermometer and one of her friends said you know if we crack that open on the sidewalk we can get that out and Esther said let's do that <laughs> and so they smashed it open and this little silver magical weird you ever seen it yes. liquid came out kind of spattered like lots of little dots and then when they scooped it up it became one big blob they put it in their hand don't do this it's poison stuff but <laughs> they put it in their hands they rolled it through their fingers they passed it around they played with it so much that it didn't stick together anymore because it picked up so much crud off the <laughs> sidewalk and such and Esther thought that's what these marbles are like that's what our point of attraction is like when you go through a day and you say that is so lovely and that is so beautiful and I like that so much and thank you for that and wow look at that that bulging bag of your point of attraction just brings you another thing to say wow about and another and another and another and another and that bag of marbles works for everything bad service canceled flights bad traffic rude people in other words you put it in your bag it's coming back to you now it has to grow a little before it has real attraction power it takes 68 seconds <laughs> and most of you are distracted so much that you don't ever make it to 68 seconds so you think about what you want and then what you don't want and what you want and then you don't want I really would like to have that but oh wouldn't it be nice if that happened but and so a lot of times in fact most of the times most people are putting most of the marbles in their bag they're offering most of their point of attraction that the law of attraction is responding to they're doing most of it through just observing just looking around and you've been trained to be so objective you weigh the pros and the cons and pluses and the minuses and you try to be fair and balanced about the things that you think about but you know what it doesn't matter how you gloss it up with a smile and with happy sounding words what really is the indicator of the marbles that are in your bag or your point of attraction we know you get what we're talking about what really lets you know how you're doing is the emotion that you feel around it when you're feeling frisky and fun you got good marbles going on your point of attraction is good and when you're in love you got good marbles in your bag and good things happen Have you ever been in love do you remember that time And didn't everything get way good for a while until you got to know each other <laughs> started finding fault trying to get the other one to change if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next